Searching the internet is harder than ever, and finding health information you can trust on the internet can be a challenge. This quick video will give you tips and tricks on searching for health information online and to better evaluate the information that you find. Let's first talk about Google. Google searches through algorithm or problem solving operations and search engine optimizations or SEOs. SEOs are a methodology of strategies, techniques, and tactics used to increase the amount of visitors to a website performed through algorithms. This is a lot, but basically the important thing to realize is that companies and websites can create SEOs that push their websites to the top of your Google search, sometimes through paying money. This means that the first page on your Google search is not always the most reliable and relevant and accurate, especially concerning health information and research. So what can you do to find reliable health information online? The ABCD test can help evaluate websites, standing for authority, balance and bias, currency, and documentation. A is for authority, meaning does the author have credentials related to the topic? B is for balance or bias, so looking carefully at the people or organizations responsible for a website. Are they selling something? Is there mention of sponsorships? C is for currency, such as when was this information created or updated. If you cannot find this information, that's a red flag. And lastly, D is for documentation. Which information sources were used in creating this resource? Are there suggestions for more reading or support for their claims? Let's quickly apply the ABCD test to a health website that I find on Google. Let's say I'm having trouble sleeping, so I'm going to Google getting better sleep. The first thing that pops up is a WebMD 20 tips for better sleep slideshow. So let's look at this. You can see here that this website has ads, which infers sponsorships. If we look at the authority, the author is an MD, so that is a good thing. It was written in 2016, so it's pretty current. If you scroll to the bottom, it does list sources, so it does provide documentation. But it also gives us a warning that this tool does not provide medical advice. And when you click on it, it recommends getting medical advice over trusting WebMD, which is always recommended when looking at health information on the internet. Let's scroll down to About WebMD to learn more about WebMD. So you can see from the About section that the content is edited by a senior staff and editorial team of doctors and medical writers, with many of them having an MD and medical writing experience. This is great! Now let's also look at their average advertising policy. Clicking on this, we can see that they do allow advertising and that they have many rules for their advertisers. But they also state that the advertiser is responsible for the accuracy and objectivity of their advertising. So overall, the information in this article is not wrong. It's reviewed by medical professionals, written by an MD. But we also have to look at the balance of the article, knowing that WebMD uses and accepts advertisers. When looking for easy to understand information about health and wellness, Medline Plus is a great resource. Medline Plus is the National Institute of Health's website for patients and their families and friends. Produced by the National Library of Medicine, it's the world's largest medical library, and it brings you information about diseases, conditions, and wellness issues in language you can understand. You can search the top of Medline Plus for sleep and then you can look through their recommendations for sleep disorders, sleep apnea, healthy sleep, and more. These entries are all written with patients in mind. Overall, remember that you have a librarian that can help you with source evaluation, research, and more. Though for most health and wellness issues, be sure to consult a medical professional. Remember to always consult the library website. You can also go to your research guides by subject and find guides for your course and for your subjects in health topics and more. On these guides and also on the library webpage, remember that you can chat with a librarian. 